how's it going? Welcome back. We're Stephen Gamer here, and I got a brand new awakening for you guys. Aldrit is about to be awakened today. I'm crazy excited. I can't wait for this awakening. I'm gonna try him out in the arena. So if you guys are excited for a brand new awakening, drop a thumbs up, leave me a like, let me know, guys. Do you have him? Do you not have him? What are you looking forward to? What kind of team compositions do you think I should use with this guy? But for now, let's just jump right into part number two and uh, see what he's all about. So for the second quest, we got to do Tidal Temple six times, guys. Now, let's go ahead. Let's jump right into a Tidal Temple. Now, don't forget, guys. You can't just go ahead and sweep this all six times. Battle number one must be done out. So battle number one, you have to play it out with the hero. You have to be able to beat this stage and then the rest of the time you can sweep right because uh, if you're confused out there and if you're sweeping right away it's not gonna work it won't work but let's go ahead guys quest two is done now quest three we must do without him or anyone being killed easy this is too easy all right uh let's drop here let's go with you you Mm, let's go with some speed and the lovable the vicious the notorious batman let's go no harm shall come to my allies yes that's actually a great saying because this guy is all about protecting the team guys protection and uh you must always use protection if you know what i'm talking about so this guy is good is that all you get or got Oh man, I am excited because I've been talking about a hero kind of like this for a while, guys. A hero that's going to try to protect your team and maybe negate some heroes from jumping around. I will protect you with my life. Okay. There it is. Well done. Another victory. Woohoohoo! Here it is, guys. Here we come. Here is the transformation coming at you right now. So let's go ahead. Yikes. Here we go! Whoa, what? Is it me or does this guy look massively huge? Wow, that's what she said. He's so big. Damn. What? That just looks like a sick avatar, man. Come on. Are you kidding me? That looks incredible. Look at this avatar. Holy scraboli. <laughs> oh my god, it looks incredible. And let's see the card. Ooh, shit. It looks like some awesome battle commander, guys. Hoo hoo hoo, Aldrin, my boy, yeah, alright, so, uh, his shield looks massive, guys, it looks awesome, his armor looks a little bit better, and he's got a nice thorn crown on his head, so, very nice, very nice, and let's go ahead and check out his awakened ability here, guys, and we're gonna check this out in a battle, too, but, uh, when barricade mode is enabled, Aldrid uh, generates a more effective defensive shield, which is used for several seconds. While the enhanced shield is up, Aldrid is immune to control effects and the effectiveness um, of his shield is weakening enemy attacks. Hmm, doesn't say how much, doesn't say how many, how he's weakening their attacks. I guess they're just becoming weakened. And strengthening allied attacks is increased. Hmm. Enemy heroes cannot pass through the enhanced shield and some enemy projectiles will be deflected back at the enemy. Yo! Alright guys, this is crazy. It seems really, really nice. So, enhancing this boosts up the speed for how long it's going to go. So, let's go ahead. Let's do... Max it out right now. Max to the max! Alright, at 40, it goes on for 10. 10 seconds. 10.45 seconds. That's actually not that bad for 10 seconds if you can get a really, really nice shield. Woo. Okay. Uh, let me see if I can give him any good ruins, guys. We have physical attack, physical toughness, whatever. Let's give him some physical toughness there. Energy bonus. Hey, why not? And then this one, you got to be at a five stars to get it. So for now, he's good. I've enchanted all of his items. He's pretty much ready to go. So let's go on to the next step. So the next step is the forge. I got to forge him really quickly. 50 times. This is going to... My gold is really low. Man, dropping crazy on the gold, guys. But it's all good. I mean, every time a new hero comes out, uh, if you get a purple or even a legendary pet, man, it costs a lot of gold. So it's really hard to, uh, you know what I mean, max it out. But in the meantime, while there's nothing new happening, guys, sometimes don't waste your gold. A lot of people might think that gold is uh, 
not that useful, but you need it for a lot of different things later in the game, all right? So let's go ahead. This is done. Now, guys, we are on to the arena portion. All right, guys, arena time now. Time to further break down his abilities a little bit more at a slower pace. So as you can see, he runs into the battlefield and he doesn't really do much right now because he is stunned by um, Celeste. Now, right away, he's in barricade mode, guys. Boom. As you can see, when shield goes up, bar uh, barricade mode is activated. His second ability. All attacks beyond his shield on your side of the field are getting 10% less. So, uh, as we know here, Adeline on his side of the field, all her attacks are minus 10%. All of my Adeline attacks are plus 10%. And so on and so forth. All attacks doing damage on the opposite side, uh, opposite side are doing more damage. That's one. Now, here's the Awakened ability, guys. Check it out. He just went into his Awakened ability now. There is an invisible shield on the battlefield. As you will see, he will split the battlefield in half. Nothing will be able to penetrate that shield. This is what his Awakening is all about. Um, so, check it out. It's pretty dope. Nothing will go in between and nothing will pass. It's pretty crazy. Barricade mode is still activated, which means all my attacks are still doing 10% more damage. All his are doing minus 10% damage, which is dope. What sucks is Volko is not... Now I have Batman and Volko on the other side. Those guys are not uh, getting that minus 10% bonus because they're on the other side, right? So that's where it kind of separates. But, uh, to, it's... I mean, the timer now is 105. This started at about 120. If I notice correctly, so he activated his skill at 120, 121, it's 105, and you're saying to yourself, wait a minute, that's more than 10 seconds that it, it says on his skill. But don't forget, guys, when when ultimates are activated, the battle will pause, the timer does not pause for anything. So if you notice, an, um, you know, if you notice somebody using their ultimate, like right now, Volko ultimate, timer keeps going, the battle pauses. So that's why his ultimate is, um, you know what I mean, does a lot more. Uh, if you also notice, he's got those shields above his head, Aldrin's head. That is the amount of damage that he soaked up when he uses his ultimate, alright? So that's kind of how you know what the damage is going to be like. Uh, now, at this point, it looks like we're cleaning house one by one. It's going pretty well. All my guys are still alive. All these guys are dying here, so fairly good. Uh, here goes Mira doing some damage to Celeste. Boom! Now... This is where the battle gets really interesting, guys. Now, watch this real quick. My Batman's health is slowly deteriorating really quick. So, check it out. Batman should be dead right now. He should die. Uh, for sure, right now, a battle would have been over if Batman dies. But, for some reason, Aldred... Look at him at the top over there. Aldred is taking all the damage that would have went on to my Batman. Which is kind of strange because Batman is not my highest magic DPS hero. Uh, Adeline is my highest uh, magic hero, magic attack hero. But it's kind of weird because he went there, he protected my Batman before he died. And he's still staying with Batman there until, you know, until Batman goes too far away. That changes everything. Batman goes into his ultimate, start doing some damage. And then the rest of my guys get their ultimates here. And then it's pretty much game over at this point. So... He saved the battle, guys. It's incredible. If it wasn't for him, Batman would be dead. And if Batman is dead, usually it's game over. But he actually saved the battle for me there, which is crazy. Uh, I gotta do some more research as to why he saved Batman instead of... But it could be... It could be he will save the hero... I guess any hero who's about to die. As long as... I'm not sure exactly, because it says the hero with the highest magic attack. Could be a glitch, or it could be he's saving anybody. So, and that's the game, guys. That saved my life right there, because this game would have been lost. Battle should have... I should have lost the battle if it wasn't for him. So, incredible. I was shocked when I saw that. I said, what? He went into Batman. I was shocked, but I was crazy happy, guys. So, uh, that's the battle output right there, as you can see. Uh, he doesn't do any damage, guys. The damage is not where it's at, but he also didn't get an ultimate off, so... Maybe he can do some more if he gets an ultimate off. But that's not what you use him for, guys. You use him for mainly for protection. He is your main protection in the team. If you need protection, he's a beast. Uh, I can see him being really, actually really good. Later on, maybe if you can have a stall team going on. But uh, right now, he's doing really well with this team right here. And uh, so far, I've gotten a bunch of different wins. So, yeah. 
more testing later on, I guess, but uh, pretty unique, unique uh, battle. And I was expecting that at all, but yeah, very weird. All right, guys, so there you have it. What do you think about Eldred? Uh, personally, I think he's awesome, man. He's a great uh, protector, right? He's not going to do you any favors on offense. He's not going to deal that much damage, but as you saw there, he's got a great ability now that he's awakened. He can stop people from penetrating, you know, the arena, which is pretty sick, all right? That's pretty cool. That could change a lot of uh, battle situations here and... Um, yeah, so I'm looking forward to trying this guy out a lot more in the arena, guys. Check me out on stream later. And uh, that's pretty much it, guys. I will end this off here, and I will check you guys out on the next Soul Hunters Awakening video. See you later!